Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here doing your daily reading for Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Just a reminder, these are general readings. Not everything will resonate with all of you. Take the parts that do and leave the rest behind. And if you do enjoy my readings, please don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. If you hit the notification bell there, you'll always get um, that notification and whenever I do upload my new readings. So we've got caring connections coming in for you today. So this is a day where you may actually have somebody around you that's very supportive. They have your best interests at heart. They're there to um, help protect you, guide you, or even just lift you up in some way. Maybe even just be somebody in your life that you can bounce some ideas off of or maybe even vent to if you're having a rough day. All right, and this can be uh, this can be a romantic connection. It can be a friend, a coworker, you name it, just someone in your life that has your best interests at heart. Now, the Caring Connection card could also mean that you're meeting new people. So you may actually already know um, this person, this shoulder to lean on, okay? But you may also have someone new that you're meeting. Now, this could come from your, your workplace. Maybe you're meeting this person through a friend, okay? If you're, uh, you know, out in the dating world at all, um, this could be where you meet someone new. Maybe you have an opportunity to go out to some sort of social gathering or event somewhere. And if you are single and looking for love, or even if you're not and you've got some networking opportunity there, this is your opportunity to partner up with the people that um, are on the same wavelength as you and it has the potential to grow into a deeper connection. So think of new loves, yes, uh, new friends, new work colleagues, okay, business connections, right? Just you never know where you may meet people that are, um, uh, that are meant to be part of your life. And we meet people in all sorts of weird places. So whether this is, again, someone that you already know or someone new, it certainly does have that um, ability to... Uh, blossom into something more wonderful, okay, or just be that person that you can lean on for today. And again, you may have, find yourself in a situation where you need to ask for a little bit of help. And interesting that the world card in this deck should also come out with this. Now, this world card is card number 29. It reduces down into an 11, and an 11 is quite is a master number, and it's quite often one that indicates um, new beginnings, yes, Okay, new opportunities, yes, but also as far as people go, it's quite often an indicator that you're going to meet somebody whose vibration matches yours, okay, um, or who's who, someone who can elevate you to the next level. So there's right back to that caring connections card. So keep an open mind. And if you get an invitation to go somewhere or to um, you know, network or anything like that. Okay. Maybe, maybe this is your sign to say yes, because you never know who you're going to meet, but the world card shows to keep an open mind. Your world is expanding. The world is your oyster. When we get this particular world card shows that you have, um, a lot of potential. You've got a lot of opportunities, doors opening for you. Um, this is also, uh, the world card in this deck, um, brings out the ability to expand your mind and to keep an open mind. Mind. So you may meet, you may have somebody that, uh, you know, has you spark something in you to see the bigger picture. Okay. Or you just may be seeing the bigger picture of something. So this is a wonderful energy of expansion of growth, unlimited potential, unlimited opportunities. If you're in a situation where you've been feeling a little bit, uh, stagnant or stuck, Okay, that world card shows that you've got a lot of opportunities that are out there and maybe you just need to keep an open mind or you may need to take a step back and have a look at the bigger picture. All right, unearth some hidden opportunities maybe and maybe you can ask someone for help with that caring connections card. So let's see what else we've got. We've got the hanged man and there is your <laughs> there is your step back and there is your looking at your bigger picture. Wow. Okay energy coming towards you today. We've got the page of wands. I like the page of wands. All right. Advice from spirit, the seven of wands and blessings headed to you today. We've got the seven of swords 
energy at the bottom of the deck influencing your day. We've got the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles as the underlying influence represents success in all of your endeavors, uh, financial success, career success. Okay, this is you, you having the ability to be in the driver's seat. Okay, there may even be a person. The King of Pentacles can represent a person that can help you out in some way. Okay, and uh, someone who is successful, they take the lead. Um, but this is also a grounded energy as well. Okay, so while you've got your head in the clouds with the world card there and the hanged man, you do have the ability here to stay grounded and stay focused on your long term goals. Okay, but this King of Pentacles brings in abundance brings in success, brings in that leadership energy, all right, and, you know, really shows how much potential that you have um, in, you know, in your day ahead. So if you're looking to start something new, okay, you may be on a quest for a new job, you may be on a quest for that promotion, okay, so for to improve your finances, all right, this does bring you um, bring you in the ability to achieve your goals, whatever those are for you. All right, so we do have the hanged man, and the hanged man is about taking a step back, doing something a little bit slow, being a little bit patient with something. But while you are in this period of inaction, okay, or maybe you're waiting for something, you get the chance to look at things from a different angle, look at things from that higher perspective. And when you do that, you can see the big picture, you can open yourself up to different um, other people's ideas or opinions. Um, you can keep that open mind. And when we do that, those are quite often when we find the answers that we look we're looking for, we get those aha moments, we get those light bulb moments. So with that care and connection, maybe it's, you know, someone is offering you a little bit of advice or offering you their opinion or their take on something. You know, maybe someone you can just bounce some ideas off of, okay, or just, you know, you call up a friend or something and you're like, okay, I got this scenario going on. Am I like completely crazy or is this really what I'm seeing? Is this really what I've got going on? Or maybe someone's kind of like, you know, if you're getting a little bit frustrated or anxious about something that's been taking a while, maybe if you're waiting for, waiting for a call back, waiting for some sort of news and you're like, I don't know if I'm going to get it. And you start to talk yourself down some negative rabbit hole there. And you know, maybe your friend or an important person in your life kind of says, whoa, 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 just hold on a second. Sometimes things take time, just relax, all right, and uh, things will work out exactly as they're meant to, okay, and sometimes, you know, especially if you're waiting for news on a job, and I feel there is some good news coming in here with the page of wands, okay, but this could certainly be about a job, and if you've been on an interview or anything like that, or you're waiting for a call back on uh, you know, some purchase, the king of pentacles can be about making, um, making a large purchase perhaps. Okay. Um, you know, um, but, uh, uh, if you've been waiting for a while, okay, it feels as though you're going to get that news, but everything kind of in a little bit of timing, we can't control how fast other people make a decision on something. Okay. But you certainly are getting some sort of enlightenment, big picture moment, those aha moments, those flashes of brilliance that allow you to move forward. Okay, so the page of wands, certainly there may be some good news headed your way, okay, and this allows you to make the next move, okay, and you know, certainly if you're waiting for that news about a job or anything, I feel that you're going to get that, all right, and if you don't, the page of wands says take action. This is your time. This is your moment. All right. To take action, to move forward, to achieve your goals. What do you need to do? All right. Do you need to call someone up and have a follow up phone call? Do you need to do something a little bit different? But the page of wands brings in the opportunity to try something new or to make those improvements, but it's all by your own action. And, you know, when you do take the first step, when you do take action, great things uh, start to happen. So it could be with this King of Pentacles that maybe you're looking to make some sort of move, make some more money, change careers, um, whatever that is for you. And this is really showing that when you take that action, okay, now is your time to achieve your goals, right? And, but you need to put your best foot forward, okay? You need to do something to get the ball rolling. But I do feel with that page of pen, oh, sorry, with that page of wands there, that some of you really do have some really exciting news that's coming in here today, okay? Or at least getting some information that allows you to take some sort of action to follow your goals and your dreams. The page of wands is quite often, um, 
you know, the results of manifestation, right? So some opportunities, those doors are really unlocking and opening for you. Your advice from spirit, the seven of wands, okay? Um, be confident, be bold, be brave. Um, remember that you are at your personal best. You've accomplished a lot. You've overcome a lot of obstacles and challenges and you are rising to the top. Okay, the seven of wands is quite often that energy of you being at your personal best. You have, you are coming at things from a position of strength. If you are competing for um, anything, okay, you stand out above the crowd. And, you know, when you remember that, okay, you exude self-confidence. And when you remember how much you've accomplished or when you are embracing your own personal strengths and self-confidence it shows externally and so spirit really wants you to remember um whatever remember that you can achieve whatever you set out to achieve sometimes you need to stand your ground though sometimes you need to stand up for yourself um you may even be finding yourself in a certain position where you need to um advocate not just for yourself but maybe for other people and that might be actually part of your career path perhaps you're a shrewd negotiator all right maybe you are in a position where you want to follow a different career path or you've got some goals where you can actually help others um, and stand up for other people and help them okay and that might be something that you're really passionate about maybe you're willing to make that um, make that change. Okay. But with that seven of wands, you have the ability to stand up for yourself, to rise above your obstacles, rise above the crowd. Okay. And to, um, you know, tackle whatever you're faced with from a position of strength. Blessings headed your way, the seven of swords. Okay, honesty. Maybe someone's revealing some truth to you today. The seven of swords is usually that element of a little bit of deception. Okay, some lies, dishonesty, deceit even sometimes. And with this being a blessing, okay, there may be a situation that gets resolved today. Okay, maybe someone is speaking their truth. Maybe you're clearing the air with the seven of wands here. Okay, maybe by standing up for yourself or standing up for someone else, okay, we actually end up clearing the air. And so communication may be really your strong suit um, in the day ahead, right? First, take a step back, figure out what you want to say, and then take some action and, uh, you know, really speak your mind. And, you know, whether this is for yourself or for someone else, okay, you really do have the ability to speak your mind in a very positive way. But these seven of swords can quite often, you know, be the energy, especially as a blessing of you getting your thoughts in alignment, figuring out what's important. And if you're looking at making some change, right, you're trying to stay positive and stay focused on moving forward and leaving anything negative behind. And, you know, you can also have the power of positive thinking today as well. Okay, that seven of swords, um, it hold, the guy holding those swords there is holding all the good thoughts. Okay, and anything negative is still stuck in the ground. So you could certainly benefit from the power of positive thinking in the day ahead. Okay, but you could really be clearing the air of um, from something as well. And we do have two sevens uh, coming there. So uh, you know, for some of you, sevens may actually be a lucky number. And if that's the case, then maybe you just got a little bit of luck on your side today. But sevens are actually a spiritual number showing that you are really on the right track. You're on the right path, um, you know, and you're coming into alignment with your spiritual purpose as well. But you also may be coming into alignment with people that match your vibration also. So there's a little bit of excitement coming in after a period of uh, quiet contemplation, stagnation, looking at that big picture. Then we've got some exciting energy here and we do have this element of success at the bottom of the deck with that king of pentacles. So you're certainly well on your path to achieving your goals, whatever those mean for you. And with that king of pentacles, you may even have somebody that helps you in some way as well. So I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to grab a couple little fairy cards for you guys today and infuse a little bit of magic into your day. So last thank you messages here for people watching. Um, the King of Pentacles, by the way, can be um, 
your ability to get more information. The pentacles can has to do with you. It can also have to do not just with your material world, with your money, finances, career, but it can also have to do with your knowledge and uh, knowledge and information. So the, maybe there's someone that can help you bring about some knowledge. Okay, but maybe there's something that you're researching and you're getting um, the information that you need, right? That hanged man, you're just taking that step back and uh, doing a little bit of research, trying to get some, uh, some answers for something and that helps you make a decision to move forward. So maybe get that key piece of missing information that you've been looking for. So let's see what we, the fairies have to say. And the first card out. Oh, we'll do some research. There we go. Okay, so this says you need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. So that hanged man that's coming out here is serving you a great purpose, as is the king of pentacles. So you certainly might be finding out some answers. Your desire is within reach. Nice. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Very nice energy. And last but not least, we have get some exercise. Hmm, interesting. All right. And as your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. And you know what? That page of that page of wands there, the page of wands is, you know, excitement and whatever, but it's also of activity, right? Taking those first steps forward. So maybe if some of you have been uh, a little bit couch potato or spending too much time at work, then maybe that message is for you. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.